There is always fear in the unknown. Hence, we fear what lurks in the deep sea, a place that is virtually unknown to us. Here are ten creatures that are the stuff of nightmares, especially number one. So stay tuned for that. Number ten. The Giant Isopod. Looking like it just crawled out of a bad science fiction movie, the best kind, the giant isopod is without a doubt one of the strangest creatures found in the deep sea. It is the largest known member of the isopod family, a group of crustaceans closely related to shrimps and crabs. The giant isopod is also related to the small pill bugs that you can find in the garden. In fact, this insect-like creature is sometimes referred to as the giant pill bug. Giant isopods are not usually fished commercially. Although some can be found in the occasional Oceanside restaurant in northern Taiwan, where they're boiled and served with rice. The enormous size of the giant isopod is a result of a phenomenon known as deep sea gigantism. This is the tendency of deep sea crustaceans and other animals to grow to a much larger size than similar species in shallower waters. It can grow to a length of over 16 inches, which makes it one of the largest members of the crustacean family. Like its terrestrial cousin, the pill bug, the giant isopod's body is protected by a hard shell that is divided into segments. This allows it to be strong and flexible at the same time. When threatened, this animal can roll itself into a ball to protect its vulnerable underside. Number 9. The Vampire Squid The Vampire Squid, known to scientists as Vampiratuthis infernalis, looks like something that might have swam out of a late night science fiction movie. But in spite of its monstrous name, it's a small creature, growing to only about 6 inches in length. The vampire squid's body is covered with light-producing organs called photophores. This gives the squid the unique ability to turn itself on or off, at will, through a chemical process known as bioluminescence. When the photophores are off, the squid is completely invisible in the dark waters where it lives. The squid has incredible control over these light organs. It has the ability to modulate the size and intensity of the photophores to create complex patterns that can be used to disorient predators and attract prey. Not much is known about the feeding and mating habits of the vampire squid, mostly because observing them in their natural habitat for a prolonged period of time is virtually impossible. So any footage of them, like the one you are seeing, is very valuable to scientists. Number 8. The Sarcastic Fringe Head Many people haven't heard of the Sarcastic Fringe Head. Located off the Pacific coast of North America, these fish are usually less than 10 inches long, and at first glance, they're not much to look at. But don't be too quick to judge. These guys are fascinating once they open up. Other fish tend to avoid them, and not because they only respond sarcastically all the time. The defining personality trait of these fish is that they're aggressively territorial. They fight off anything that comes too close, no matter the size of the intruder. They have sharp, needle-like teeth that they can use to attack their targets, and they don't tend to back down from a fight. Many divers have reported being harassed by a grumpy fringe head after getting too close to its home. Thankfully, their small size means they're not a threat to humans, so long as you don't poke your fingers where you don't belong. The great thing about these fish is how they fight. Once one of them decides an animal has gotten too close, it'll warn them by opening its mouth as wide as possible. Suddenly, this little brown fish gets much more interesting. They have gaping mouths, much like the mouth of a predator. I'm gonna pause here and just let that sink in. Yes, fish with predator mouths. That's how terrifying these fish are. Anyways, their mouths are only for show, as they mostly use it to scare off other fish. But honestly, who wouldn't be scared of this thing? Number 7. The Bathosaurus Scientists aboard a research vessel were trawling for fish near eastern Australia when they accidentally pulled up this. A fang-faced monster that has the body of an eel, the face of a lizard, and an impressive reputation as the world's deepest living predator. Despite only being around 20 inches long, this fish has a ferocious reputation. It has a mouthful of sharp teeth, and will eat essentially anything in its path. It has an M.O. of burying itself on the deep sea floor, 3300 to 8200 feet below the water's surface. When unsuspecting prey swims by, Bathosaurus darts out of the sediment and snatches up the meal in its formidable jaws. Perhaps it's this ferocity and the inability to get along well with other fish, even of the same kind, is the reason why they evolved something pretty incredible. This fish has both male and female reproductive organs, so every fish of this kind is both male and female. This evolutionary trait makes sure that these fish will always have a chance to mate if they feel like it, with any other Bathosaurus they come in contact with. 
provided they don't try to eat each other first. Number 6. The Stargazer Instantly recognizable by the horrified, woeful expression on their upturned faces, stargazers are among the most frightening fish in the ocean, capable of vacuuming up, electrocuting, and delivering deadly venom to their enemies. These three attributes are the reasons why the stargazer fish earned its nickname of the meanest thing in creation. The fish, named for the upward-facing eyes and gaping mouths located strategically at the top of their heads, are not much to look at, but their comical appearance belies a suite of deadly offense and defense strategies that make them surprisingly formidable predators. They spend most of their lives inconspicuously blending in with the ocean floor. Using their pectoral fins like shuttles, they can dig beneath the sand and bury themselves in seconds, leaving only their eyes and mouth visible. There, they lie perfectly still and wait for prey to swim by, before deftly stunning and overpowering their victims at lightning speed. For defense, they have two large spines on their backs which allow the fish to inject venom into potential attackers or a misplaced human hand or foot. They are also bioelectrogenic, meaning they are capable of producing electricity, like electric eels and just a handful of other fishes. A specialized organ behind their eyes allows them to deliver electronic shocks to predators. Number 5. The Gulper Eel The Gulper Eel, also known as the Pelican Eel, is one of the most bizarre-looking and scariest creatures in the deep sea. If you first see this creature, you'll notice one thing alone – its mouth. This enormous mouth is much larger than the eel's body. The mouth is loosely hinged and can be opened wide enough to swallow an animal much larger than itself. The hapless fish is then deposited into a pouch-like lower jaw, which resembles that of a pelican, hence its other name. The gulper's stomach can also stretch to accommodate its large meals. The gulper eel is much different in appearance than most other eel species. Aside from the obvious difference in mouth size, they also have very small eyes, which is pretty uncommon for deep sea dwellers. It also has a very long whip-like tail. Specimens that have been brought to the surface in fishing nets have been known to have their long tails tied into several knots. The tail's primary purpose is for movement, but it does have other uses as well. The end of the tail is tipped with a light-producing organ known as a photophore, which we've already discussed in here, but just as a refresher, through a process known as bioluminescence, the photophore glows pink and can give off occasional red flashes for this one. Since the eel's body is not built for chasing prey, it is believed that the eel uses this light as a fishing lure to attract fish and other creatures close to its enormous mouth. When the prey is in range, the eel lunges and snaps it up in its gigantic mouth. Number 4 the Frilled Shark The Frilled Shark is a strange, prehistoric-looking shark that lives in the open ocean and spends much of its time in deep, dark waters far below the sea surface. Its long, cylindrical body reaches lengths of nearly 7 feet, and its fins are placed far back on the body. The Frilled Shark gets its name from the frilly appearance of its gill slits. And yes, the fact that it looks like a giant swimming sperm from hell doesn't escape me. Although they don't like it, they are very active predators. They usually lunge at their prey and then swallow them whole, even the big ones. Their preferred prey is squid, and they have several rows of long teeth, each with three long points that are perfect for snagging the soft bodies of this prey. And although they are sharks, they swim like no other shark you've seen before. Their serpentine swimming pattern makes them more like eels rather than sharks. They are rarely seen in the wild, and what scientists know today only comes from carcasses that are accidentally hauled by fishermen. Number 3. The Sea Devil Anglerfish If a fish has the word devil in its name, it's a safe bet that it's going to be freaky. The Sea Devil Anglerfish does not disappoint. It features a whole list of fascinatingly strange characteristics. It's hard not to start with the Sea Devil's looks. As its name strongly hints, this is a fish that could have swam up straight from hell, with its misshapen body, razor-like teeth, and cold death stare. Although they're bizarre and scary looking, at least they're not huge, females generally top out at 20 centimeters long, and males at a much smaller 2.5 centimeters long. In a rather strange evolutionary twist of reproduction, the males actually fuse themselves to the females. Their fins, teeth, and eyes disappear, along with a few internal organs, ultimately turning the two individuals into one. What's left of the male's body essentially becomes a storage tank for sperm that will help fertilize the female's eggs when the time is right. As an anglerfish, the sea devil doesn't dart after its prey. Instead, it has a protrusion from its forehead that dangles a glowing lure to attract star-struck, luckless animals. 
With its huge gaping jaws, the sea devil can actually devour creatures much larger than itself. And now it's time for the day's best pick. And today's best pick is the granddaddy of all real life sea monsters. Something so notorious, people have been documenting its existence since the time of the Vikings. Just what could this creature be? Number two, the giant squid. Tales of enormous squids have circulated throughout the world since ancient times. Perhaps the most famous legendary squid is the Norse Kraken, a monstrous tentacled beast as large as an island that devoured ships whole. And of course, striking fear in the hearts of many a sailor. Today, we all know what a giant squid is. We even know of its larger cousin. However, much is left unknown. Very little is actually known about its habits and lifestyle, and it's still unknown how large a giant squid can actually grow. The largest specimen has been between 30 and 40 feet long, weighing over 100 pounds. However, its close cousin, the colossal squid, may grow to much greater sizes, as evidenced by the signs of sucker marks on sperm whales. To this day, the giant squid remains a legendary example of how fantastically terrifying animals on Earth can actually be. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. The Zombie Worm. Is there anything scarier than a zombie? Just recently, zombie craze has swept the planet, spawning quite a number of movies, TV shows, video games, etc. But did you know that there are real zombies lurking in the deep ocean? Officially, it's called the Ossidax, but this worm also goes by the fiercer monikers such as Bone Worm or Zombie Worm, and it can consume the rock-hard bones of some of the Earth's biggest animals, including whales. The zombie worm secretes acids to help it access the inner contents of those dead whale bones. Then it uses symbiotic bacteria to convert the bone's proteins and fats into nutrients that serves as its food. Its feathery branches wiggle in the water, pulling in oxygen to keep the worm alive. Worms eating any organic matter that comes within reach, down to the bone. If there's anything scarier than that, oh, please don't let me know, that's horrifying. Which sea monster will give you nightmares tonight? Let us know in the comments section down below. Want to watch more videos about incredible animals? Click on any of the videos you see on your screen. As always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody.